what's going on. It's worried. Now you may notice that in the top left corner it says Sonic Boogum 479. That's the account my, uh, basically all my kids play under. Uh, it's mainly my oldest son who's 16 at this time. Um, I was just going through trying to get his season 3 weekly challenge done so he could have all the uh, skins and gear. Um, but unfortunately I ended up getting a big rare out of it, so this is technically my 30... Yeah, 33rd. Um, that's 33 total. Um, I apologize to him and say thank you for not getting too mad at me for using his account and getting a Victor Royale on it. But I'm sure he doesn't mind too much because he already told me so. Anyway, getting right into it. So we decided to land in Greasy Grove since we came in at the same angle as... Um, oh, there we go. First kill of the game. Um, 78 problems left. Okay, so I think, I'm not sure exactly which challenge to do, I know I'm trying just to get XP so I can uh, level him up for the last, I think he only had like three more tiers to go and to reach the 100 tiers. Um, I think I was just trying to level him up um, to the last V-Bucks get up and then I decided just to buy their last two. Um, but yeah, so two kills in, 35 people left, let's keep it going. Did you hear those footsteps? There they are. Oh, good try, buddy. And off with your head. 31 more personnel to go. Three kills on the books. 
So those headshots are so awesome when you get them, but sucks when you're on the receiving end. Am I right? Okay, so we're about to run into a little situation that I've been seeing a lot, and I'm guessing it's just people who decide to kill themselves because they achieved the challenge or for whatever reason, or they gotta leave and they just want to keep their experience points, so they kill themselves. And so, but it works out my benefit. I mean, he left me a lot of loot, a lot of good loot, actually. So, yeah. Moving right along with 22 people left and 3 kills. So sometimes when I come out of these storms, I try to find a little bush or something to hide behind and just kind of wait for a couple of seconds to see if anybody's going to come out of the storm along with me because yeah, you get a little cheap little kill here and there, plus it gives you a second to kind of observe everything ahead of you so you're not just running into the battle with no prior knowledge of what's out there. This is a good tip for future efforts. So I felt so bad for killing this guy because he had no shield. I thought, well, he just got out of a fight, so he didn't have any med kits or anything. So, but then I get up here and find the guy had a freaking med kit. Why, in the dear Lord's name, would you leave cover when you're not fighting as a storm? There's not a lot of people around. You had time to heal up, heal up for crying out loud, and then move along. But anyway, 13 people left, four kills. And we move forward.
but I remember now why I was playing solos and trying, the whole purpose of this was to try to get the glider um, from the 100 challenge um, at the end of season 3, and basically I had to survive till the final however many, I, I didn't couldn't remember at the time I think, and I still can't remember right now, but I had to survive till the end of a solos match, and I had to do this like three times, whatever. So I think this was the final time, or the two, this is the second time I was attempting it and made it. But it ended up being, like I said, a battle royale, and that was not what the purpose of this match. So that's why I kind of disengage here and go hide somewhere, because I'm still trying to make it to the end. I figured I'd just walk around the outside of the, bit, of the circle and just stay alive to the end. And then these meters come down and I get kind of mesmerized by the damage they do. And I look to my left and what do I see? Someone hiding by the dead to right. But not today. But he does have a foot for it. And that helps. Okay, so when these things get placed, I don't understand why they have a big space underneath. That just makes it easier to blow them up, but I guess that's kind of the point. I don't know about y'all, but the New Year's, like the last couple days here, were really annoying me. <laughs> they take out my base, but sometimes they would help and take out the enemy's base, so I can't play too much, I guess. So I bet you're thinking, man, for somebody who doesn't want to win, he sure is raking in the kills. But I figured if I go ahead and take out that last guy, it'll just, me, it'll just be me and the final person, and the game can be over, and I can go on and hopefully get back to my account and get a couple wins, but not what happened.
Okay, so I have to decide the bandage up here. And, uh, because I don't want to make it too easy on the guy. I mean, come on, he's got to work for it son. I mean, I've had to work for all my victory royale, so I figured I'd make him work for it. Be fully shielded and fully healed. So that's what I did. Okay. So my thought here is, okay, I see him over there building. He has a high ground. Should be an easy death, easy kill for him. All he's got to do is rain down fire upon me. Um, I see this little care package. I like him thinking, okay, well, I'll just go pick this up. Maybe something fun's in there to use against him. Something cheesy like a handgun or something. Like that. Then it gives me a minigun. And I think, perfect. So now to thank my son, I want to play some music in honor of him for letting me use his account from his favorite artist. I was damn right surgical with that minigun. Till next time. Peace!